Hey there, welcome to another PC case review. Today we're taking a closer look at the Deep Cool McCube 110 in white, which we used in our last PC build. And this time we are going to see what this case has to offer, and if you should consider buying it for your setup. Starting from the case itself, this is a micro ATX case featuring a magnetic tempered glass side panel, and it is great for small form factor builds and at the same time offers plenty of space for your hardware. In order to get the glass panel off, you just pull it from the top where it attaches with magnets and swings away from the case. The back panel is attached like in most PC cases with two thumb screws. Here we don't have much going on, first we got two SSD push pin mounting points which can be used for 2.5 inch hard drives, then we have an adjustable GPU holder bracket which you can adjust easily with just one thumb screw. And below that we have our power supply tunnel where you will find also a hard drive cage which fits two 3.5 inch hard drives. You could also easily remove it and practically put any power supply or a thicker radiator as you don't really have any space limitation. On the top of the case we've got a mesh magnetic dust filter and our front panel connectivity where we have two USB 3.0 ports, power and reset buttons, and an audio jack as well. Now moving inside the case, in terms of motherboard support it can fit up to MATX motherboards as it only has four expansion slots. The case does include a standard 120mm exhaust fan, but we will be installing three 120mm RGB fans, also from Deepcool. These are the CF120 Plus ARGB fans, which are super quiet, offer high airflow performance, and some awesome lighting effects with their dual LED layout. Now in terms of water cooling and radiator support, this case supports up to 280mm on the top as well as a 280mm push-pull configuration on the front, but it can also fit up to three 120mm fans on the front where we will be putting just two 140mm as our fresh air intake. Now the airflow may suffer a bit as we only have this mesh from both sides of the front panel, so you should have that in mind and don't expect some crazy airflow where if you don't go with super high end components you will be just fine. Here you can see how the cooling performance is. As I said cooling may suffer a bit, but I guess for its price you can't really complain about it. And that is what I really, really like about this case. It costs about 60 US dollars and you get premium build quality along with sleek aesthetics and very good hardware compatibility. For this build we went with the Core i5-11400 paired with an ASRock H570M board, 16GB of RAM from HyperX and a triple fan RTX 3070 from Gainward. For cooling we went with a 140mm air cooler, the AS500 from Deepcool, and as you can see all parts fit in the case with absolutely no problem. So to sum up, I think the Deepcool McCube 110 is a minimalistic case, offering very good clearance for liquid and air cooling, supports GPUs of up to 320mm in length, and all that with a price tag of about 60 US dollars, which makes it a very good choice if you plan on building a mid-range PC without the need to spend too much on the case, and I would definitely recommend it as a budget PC case for your setup. All the parts we use for this build will be as usual listed in the description below, and if you have any questions regarding the case I would be glad to answer them in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching, please do leave a like as it helps a lot. Subscribe to our channel and of course follow us on Instagram. See you on the next one.